Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we're still continuing with our BCS requirements engineering uh, sample paper walkthrough. And what we're going to be looking at in this session is sample paper question four. Okay, so let's have a look and see what is said or what is asked of us in this question. So it says a project manager has stated that he wants to be able to demonstrate to senior management that requirements when built will fulfill the business objectives. Okay, and then the instructions or the real question is, what element of requirements management will offer this? And then we've got four options there. We've got configuration control, we've got vertical traceability, change control, and horizontal traceability. Okay, so first of all, I always like to identify the area of knowledge, even if it may be obvious. And then um, try and identify what they're actually asking us for here. What are the keywords um, that are indicating what we need to know, um, which will reveal um, the question, reveal the answer rather. So what it says is that we've got this, uh, this scenario where we have a project manager and he's now um, wants to show that these specific requirements will fulfill the business objectives. So this is now... Um, you know, maybe in, in line with sort of strategic analysis also. So if you do a more, uh, if you may have done the business analysis practice course before, you may have, uh, you may, may know more about the business objectives and the business strategy and um, how these all relate to business analysis and how, uh, and business transformation. And in this particular instance, they're talking about requirements management and which part of that will offer this. So, it is in the context of requirements management that they are testing us on here. So if we look at this here, we see that it says we've got configuration control, vertical traceability, change control, horizontal traceability. And these are all aspects of requirements management. We should know this. We should know that we have those six, um, you know, aspects of, of uh, requirements management that we need to know um, how to do this. Okay, so what we, um, and what this may involve is, you know, maybe requirements identification, cross requirements cross referencing, uh, the origin and ownership of the requirements, software support, change control, and configuration management. So these are all aspects of requirements management that we need to know about in terms of our syllabus and our learning objectives. So, um, and all of these items, all of this requirements management actually um, ensures traceability and helps with traceability and management. So it all, all of these activities actually help with that. But we need to know what is involved in each of these different activities. So if you, um, if you want to maybe go back to your course and look at what, uh, what lessons this is covered in, in in terms of traceability of requirements management, because this is the area of knowledge that we're looking at is requirements management, but specifically traceability. It is covered in module eight of your course. And what do we know if requirements are not traceable? How do we, or what is going to happen if we don't, we can't trace our requirements back to the source or the origin or, or horizontally or vertically? It means that there'll be many, many problems that'll occur, not only during the planning of the project, such as in when we're actually building the requirements, but also throughout development and even afterwards when the solution is now in development. We need these requirements to be traceable so that we can go back to them and, and look at what needs to go on. So um, in terms of, uh, you know, this is all about origin and ownership, where, where did these requirements come from and who owns the, the requirements and such. So what we need to, what we also should know is that we have those two parts of traceability. We have horizontal traceability and we've got vertical traceability. And now the horizontal traceability is, is referring to um, those aspects of moving the requirements from the um, from the actual requirements to the features and from the features back to the requirements. We need to move forward and we need to move back along that line of development. So as we're building the requirements and putting them into solution development, we need to know, uh, we need to trace them back along that horizontal axis from the requirements, from we've, when we first elicit the requirements, all the way through 
the documentation process all the way till the point where the features actually get built into the system. So if we look at the system after it's been built, we've got the software product or maybe some other business system that we've actually generated requirements for, and we look at this feature, we should be able to look back through all of this documentation right back to the person who actually uh, we elicited that requirement from. And um, uh, so we have this inception to delivery. It needs to be traced from inception all the way through to delivery. That's horizontal traceability. And we have this backwards from and forwards to type of traceability. Backwards from, from the features to the requirements, and forwards to is from the requirements to the features. Okay, so then we also have this other aspect of traceability, which is vertical traceability. Now, this is a slightly different in terms of its concept. Uh, the, this is more along the lines of looking at the requirements up and down these hierarchy of requirements. So we have the, 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 the defined specifications at the bottom, the actual um, requirements that we, we have for the system, this list of requirements that has been analyzed and defined and it's clear and it's perfect and it's, it can be built into the system or it is going to be built into the system. And we need to look back through all the more broader aspects of requirements through those general requirements where it's um, not very specific and those technical requirements all the way up to the actual the strategy, the business objectives, the strategy, its policies and such. So this is the vertical as, uh, um, traceability. So if you think of an organization, it has this particular strategy. So it's just decided to do some particular thing in its organization. Then it now defines the objectives for the strategy. So we need to achieve this, 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 and this. If it's a software product, let's say um, maybe it, it, it's along the lines of uh, maybe the customer service de department needs to uh, increase sat customer satisfaction by a, a particular point in time. So that let's say let's say the strategy is to increase customer satisfaction. Then this particular software solution that is being built is one of, part of the strategy is it needs to support that strategy. Then the objectives would be to um, build those particular things in those features in terms of uh, you know those smart values. They need to be measurable and time bound and. Maybe they're building some particular feature within two years or such. That's a business objective. So how are they going to carry? How are they going to accomplish that business objective, which is aligned to the strategy, and and how are they going to complete uh, um, achieve this business objective with a particular software product? Then with that software product, which features are going to support those business objectives, and then which um, requirements which are being built into that software product are going to support the solution which supports the objectives and the strategy and all those other aspects of the business such as the policies and such that's right at the top of the hierarchy then in the middle of the hierarchy we have the those broad general type of requirements the um, the business requirements and such then right at the bottom we have these solution requirements these are the functional and non-functional requirements so these are the specific features of the system um, they need to be vertically traced from all the way from the requirements right up to the strategy. Okay, so um, uh, we also then, well, if we take a look at this, this question now, we need to now establish, you see that it is now talking about requirements management. So this is what the, the broad area of knowledge that we're talking about. It says what element of requirements management will offer this and what we are talking about here is now the, this project manager who's demonstrating senior management that the requirements when built. So these requirements have been elicited, analyzed, they've gone through the whole process, and now the solution has been built. And now this particular solution, the software product or whatever um, business transformation that's taken place here, it's now supporting the business objectives. So it's actually doing its job. It's now moving the business forward in terms of its objectives, which is also supporting the business strategy. Okay, so this is now indicating that we are talking about vertical traceability here. So if we look at the options, we have configuration control. That is part of requirements management. It's more along the lines of 
um, those configuration items and managing those particular items where, where, as they're being built into the system. Those are those particular features. Um, and then we have here vertical traceability. There we go. There it is. That's the correct answer. And we've got C, which is change control, um, which is not aligned to that particular scenario, change control. As we should know, it's a formal change process when things take place through um, doing the management of requirements or the management of a project. It's part of requirements management. All of these options here are part of requirements management, but it is not aligned to this particular scenario here. And then horizontal traceability. As we've discussed, that's from the requirements to the features and from the features back to the requirements that backwards um, that backwards from and forwards to traceability. But in this context, because that particular keyword is in there, business objectives, and it's in the context of requirements management, and it's not talking about these requirements and, and uh, tracing the requirements from the actual requirements through the solution all the way to the objectives, they're talking about that hierarchy of requirements here, which is vertical traceability, not that horizontal uh, aspect of requirements traceability. So answer B here is the correct answer. So um, just ensure that you cover all of your learning objectives, you know all of these areas. So if you think of it, um, I mentioned before, if you categorize all of your knowledge, you first of all have this broad idea of how things can be done simpler in, in terms of business analysis, but then you have your categories. If you think if you're carrying out this particular job of requirements engineering, and you have that those aspects of the requirements engineering fr framework, then you break it further down in terms of categorization. You know that requirements management is part of that. So that's mentioned in this particular question here. In part of requirements management, you know it has those six, um, those six uh, activities or categories of requirements management, which are for these four options here or four of those six uh, aspects, or actually rather three, because traceability is one. So it's three or four of those six. So you should then rule out configuration control, change control, or any other activities of requirements management, because you should know the difference between those activities, and you should know the difference between the different types of traceability. And therefore, you would have then be able to identify that vertical traceability was the correct option here because of that business objectives keyword. So um, I hope you this, you this has given you some insight into this type of question, and I hope to see you in the next question. So goodbye.